These are indications for a pacemaker. One of the biggest categories is AV node dysfunction, and there are many subcategories under this. If you have asymptomatic third degree AV block with asystole greater than three seconds or asystole greater than five seconds in the presence of AFib, that warrants a pacemaker. If you have second degree AV block, type one or type two, second degree AV block with symptomatic bradycardia, high grade blocks, or symptomatic ventricular arrhythmia, that also warrants a pacemaker. And if you have third degree AV block with medication induced bradycardia, post AV node ablation, or post operative block that's not expected to resolve, that also warrants a pacemaker. Some other AV node related conditions a post STEMI, second or third degree AV block, or cardiac sarcoid with an AV block. There are some neuromuscular disorders that, are, that warrant an AV block. Um, they can cause third degree AV block, and they're listed here. A bifascicular block with type 2 second or third degree AV block or syncope also warrants a pacemaker. Patients with sinus node dysfunction, such as bradycardia caused by medical management, documented symptomatic bradycardia, or syncopal episodes with bradycardia or pauses on EKG also warrants a pacemaker. Cardiac transplant patients that have persistent bradycardia should also get a pacemaker. People with central OSA, people with congenital heart diseases might need one. Patients with cardiac resynchronization therapy with an ejection fraction less than 35, a QRS greater than 120 might also need a pacemaker. Hypersensitive carotid sinus syndrome, neurocardiogenic syncope, and to prevent or terminate supraventricular tachycardias might also require pacemakers.